All right, well, I got an update on the uh, on the mower, on the vintage mower. It turns out that it's a uh, 1951 Pacer, Jacobson 1951 Pacer, 18 inch blade. Um, and that was given to me by some information on a uh, website called Smokestack Forum, and um, that's a really cool site. They have all kinds of great information and photos and forums and classifieds for classic vintage uh, tractors and mowers and uh, engines of all types. So really cool site. And there's some uh, information about the Jacobson Pacers and Long Queens and other models that are similar to this. Now, um, the only thing is when I got this, when I picked this up a few weeks ago at the flea market for 10 bucks, uh, it was missing the carburetor and it was missing the gas tank. I went online that night when I picked it up or a week later few days later and there's a guy selling what appears to be parts from a lawn queen um, or a very similar lawnmower with this engine type so I picked up the carburetor the carburetor fits perfectly and I'm assuming I, I'm not I don't really have any experience with small engines uh, this will be the first one that I actually put together and get running so hopefully maybe you guys can give me some tips but uh, you know after watching some of uh, Musty's videos and VW Darren's videos and a few other guys um, uh, you know I'm pretty sure that small engines can use different carburetors as long as they're calibrated right um, maybe you guys can help me figure out how to calibrate this particular carburetor I'm not even sure what this does here I'm assuming it's some type of jet um, and there's some other adjustments in here this appears to be the throttle And I'm assuming this cable connects here as the governor. I think this is some type of governor. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm a novice. I apologize. I just, you know, I've always been around this type of stuff growing up. My dad had lawn mowers and tractors and motorcycles and stuff. And I had a few dirt bikes growing up. And I have a little bit of experience with them, but uh, I'm not real knowledgeable. But I'm. You know, I know just enough to get in trouble, I guess. Um, so any help would be greatly appreciated. Um, so, you yeah, know, I just wanted to put the carb on here to make sure it fit, and it, it seems like it fits. I'm thinking Jacobson probably used this motor on multiple, you know, mowers. Uh, I think it's a 1.5 horse. Um, so I'm hoping that I can use this carburetor. This carburetor is interesting. I took this off and it has a cork float in it. Uh, I'm going to make a video in a minute and I might just connect it to this one. Uh, and I'll take this off and show you guys the float. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got an oil filter. i got to put some oil in it. And I need to figure out uh, what oil and gas mixture in the manual. In the Jacobson Long Queen manual, it says uh, 16 to 1 SE30 non detergent. And uh, I've also read that online a couple times. So I'm assuming that's, that would work. Um, so it was missing the carburetor and the gas tank. So I purchased the, uh, the gas tank and the carburetor off the same guy. Now I know this isn't the exact gas tank for this model, but I took the bracket off the bottom and I'm going to get an L bracket and I should be able to attach it to the mounting mounting bolts there. Uh, this particular one was has some type of uh, 
air vacuum system that goes into the uh, motor uh, because it was the model that came off the gas tank sits here below the carburetor so it somehow that air forces the air through the tank into the carburetor uh, I did see a mower online that has this exact car uh, gas tank on it I'm assuming it has the same carburetor it looks almost identical and it was a long queen uh, like a 1950 long queen so I'm pretty sure that's what this came off of was a uh, late 40s early 50s long queen um, but like I said I think they use the same motors uh, for multiple mowers uh, so I'm a little sick and congested hopefully I didn't ramble on too much hopefully you guys can help me out I appreciate it. Thank you.